Right now at noon, Governor Tony Evers and Assembly Democrats are pushing for COVID-19 legislation to be passed as soon as possible. And claims have been filed on behalf of two men who were shot by Kyle Rittenhouse during the unrest in Kenosha. We'll tell you what they're asking for. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. Happy New Year, everyone. Governor Tony Evers is calling on the Republican-controlled Wisconsin legislature to pass his proposed COVID-19 relief bill before any other in the session that begins today. Evers renewed his request to lawmakers to take up his proposed compromise, first floated in December 21st, saying that it would be inexplicable to take up anything else first. Today, Assembly Democrats announced legislation to address the COVID-19 pandemic throughout Wisconsin. They say it includes everything in the government bill and more. We've also incorporated legislation that our members introduced last session in terms of the Healthcare Heroes Act um, that was aimed at providing benefits for certain healthcare workers, including hazard pay, paid sick leave due to COVID-19 and state-funded testing and treatment. The Senate and Assembly both plan to meet to swear in new members. Republicans return with a 60 to 38 majority in the, in the Assembly and a 20 to 12 advantage in the Senate. We'll have more on the swearing-in ceremony tonight on our later newscasts. The new year is not slowing down the unprecedented spread of COVID-19. The death toll in the U.S. passed 350,000 over the weekend after the deadliest month so far. COVID-19 took the lives of more than 77,000 people in America in December. And in Wisconsin, we are nearing 5,000 deaths due to COVID-19 complications. Right now, there are 4,952 deaths along with 486,705 cases. More than 26,000 cases remain active. New at noon, Congressman Mark Pocan says that he will not be running for Senator Ron Johnson's Senate seat in 2022. Pocan said, quote, while I'm honored, many people have asked me to run for the Senate in 2022. At this time, the best way for me to fight for Wisconsin and for progressive values is to stay in the House of Representatives. Senator Johnson has previously said he would not run for re-election, but he has not made a formal announcement. Pocan was re-elected to another term in the House in November. Well, cloudy start to the work week, and we could see some possible freezing rain this afternoon. Meteorologist Hattie McLean has a look at your first worn forecast. Hi, Hads. Good afternoon, Mark. I almost said morning, but it kind of looks like it did this morning. It's a little bit brighter outside, but not much. We're still dealing with some fog across southern Wisconsin. Take a look at a live view this afternoon from our Edgewater Sky Camera. You'll see a little bit of the capital, but not much. We still have some dense fog across parts of the area. Now, the National Weather Service just updating the fog advisories. They've canceled the advisory for part of the area or let them expire at noon for Dane County and area to the north and east. To the south and west, those fog advisories have been extended until 3 p.m., so another three hours for that dense fog advisory south and west of Madison. Current visibility, well, it's a mile and a half here in Madison. It's still just a quarter of a mile in Platteville and Mineral Point, as well as Monroe. And temperatures are critical. We're still dealing with temperatures that are below the freezing point, so any untreated surfaces may become slippery with those fog droplets freezing on contact. Now, our forecast calls for very little movement temperature-wise today. We'll top right around 30 here in Madison with the low clouds and the areas of fog lingering for some spots. Temperatures dropping then only into the mid-20s overnight tonight. This fog though has made for a very pretty picture outside. Lots of frost and ice on the uh, trees and every blade of grass. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll discuss whether this is rime ice or hoarfrost. All right, the debate continues. Thank you, Hattie. We'll see you in a few minutes. Claims filed on behalf of two men shot by an Illinois teen during a night of protest over a police shooting in Kenosha allege the city and Kenosha County were negligent in their response to the unrest. Gail Grosskreutz, who was seriously wounded, and the parents of Anthony Huber, who was killed, have each filed $10 million claim notices. Grosskreutz and Huber were shot by 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse on August 25th during violent protests that followed the police shooting of Jay Jacob Blake. Rittenhouse, who is now 18, is free on $2 million bail while awaiting trial. Some Democrats are calling for a criminal investigation into a stunning phone call President Trump had with Georgia's Secretary of State. During a remarkable hour-long call with Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, President Trump pressured him to find enough votes to change the election outcome in his state. All I want to do is this. I just want to find... Uh, 11,780 
votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. Everything we've done for the last 12 months follows the Constitution of the state of Georgia, follows the United States Constitution. The call comes just as Congress is getting ready to certify the 2020 election results. At least a dozen Senate Republicans, including Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, and several more in the House plan to contest the Electoral College's results. The move has some Republicans asking their colleagues to move on. Just one day of campaigning remains in the Georgia Senate runoff election that will decide who has control of the U.S. Senate. Democratic contender John Ossoff will square off against Republican candidate incumbent David Perdue in tomorrow's runoff. And Democrat Raphael Warnock faces Republican incumbent Kelly Loeffler. If one of the Democrats win and the other doesn't, that would result in a 50-50 split between Republicans and Democrats in the Senate. If that happens, a tie would be broken by incoming Democratic U.S. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. We're a few months away from the NCAA basketball's March Madness, but the league has released a plan to have all the games in the same state. The NCAA will stage the entire tournament in Indiana, with the majority of the 67 games taking place in Indianapolis. Ball State, Butler University, Indiana University, and Purdue University are all some of the schools that will lend their facilities to host games. So Selection Sunday is scheduled for March 14th, and the Final Four will happen on April 3rd and 5th. The Badger men's basketball team has slipped a little in the latest AP poll. Wisconsin was previously ranked six, but dropped two spots to eight following their loss to Maryland and their win to Minnesota last week. The Badgers were scheduled to play Penn State yesterday, but the teams decided to cancel after positive COVID cases within the Nittany Lions program. Wisconsin is scheduled to take on Indiana Thursday at the Kohl Center. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Wall Street kicks off the first trading day of 2021, and the U.S. Mint issues the final design of its keepsake quarters. I'm Naomi Ruckham at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. General Heating and Air Conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. High energy bills and cold drafty rooms are no way to go through winter. It's time for a visit from Dr. Energy Saver by Larson Home Services. Our team will find trouble spots where you are losing and wasting energy and will provide effective, long lasting solutions. And right now, take 50% off installation labor, get a free heat map analysis of your home and get a $100 Visa gift card when you sign up for Dr. Energy Saver package. Call now to set up your free estimate because this doctor makes house calls. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. out with cardio distancing and our new crowd meter. Plus, use our app to get moving anywhere. Your fitness is essential, so kick things off with the year's best deal. Join for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. Deal ends January 7th. Five Madison area locations. Sign up for $10 a month. Stop in today. You're up early. Ah, well, U.S. Cellular is giving away the latest phones for free with no hidden requirements, so I did not want to miss it. Actually, you can get the latest phones free all season long. What? All season long, huh? Yep, and no hidden requirements. You in the market for any camping gear? Um, Only been used once. At U.S. Cellular, get the latest phones free with the plan of your choice and no required phone trade-ins all season long. U.S. Cellular, upgrade to fair. 
general heating and air conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. opened flat on the first trading day of the new year. Following a strong 2020 close, investors weighed optimism for an economic recovery in 2021 as coronavirus cases continued to rise nationwide. As stimulus checks arrive in the mail or direct deposit, beware of scams. The Better Business Bureau is already getting reports of scammers contacting people claiming they need to provide personal information to get the money. Some scammers also say there are processing fees. Neither is true. Experts say not to respond to any text messages, emails, or robocalls about your stimulus check. More than 200 employees of Google's parent company Alphabet have formed a union. The group, calling themselves the Alphabet Workers Union, say their primary goal is to provide a structure for workers to push for new policies on pay, harassment, and ethics. It's an unprecedented move as unions remain extremely rare in the tech industry and Silicon Valley. And the last batch of the America the Beautiful Quarters are being released today to honor the Tuskegee Airmen. The coin depicts an aviator from the diverse group of pilots suiting up during World War II. The words, they fought two wars, are written across the top, referring to their fight against fascism abroad and racial discrimination at home. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Naomi Ruckham. Naomi, thank you. Let's check Wall Street. A rough day to start off the new year. The Dow Industrial is down 657 points. The NASDAQ off 302. The S&P 500 down 84. There's more to come on News Street Now at noon. Up next, it's a foggy start to the work week. So what does the rest of it look like? Meteorologist Hattie McLean has more ahead in your first warm forecast. Do you take daily prescription pain medications, but they don't help enough? Do you want more options to better manage chronic pain? University of Wisconsin-Madison Stamp Study offers free, safe, therapeutic programs to address chronic pain. The programs occur once a week for eight weeks and pays up to $340. Call 608-212-6902 today. Again, that's 608-212-6902. It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum, because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 200 megabits for just $44.99 a month, with a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-546-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-546-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-546-4499. So, how's saving for the renovation going? All done. I will never understand how you do it. Easy. She saves with BMO Harris. We give you a cash reward for every month you save. So BMO will give me cash for saving money? You bet. Can the subject hold position two, please? How's this? That's odd. That makes saving look good. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Get a $5 reward every month you save $200 or more in a new BMO statement savings account. Hey folks, looking to declutter and make some space in the new year? There's a nonprofit that'll take it off your hands. Watch Tuesday morning and we'll show you how donating your used clothes and furniture will help out a worthy cause. Wisconsin weather can be frustrating. Get the latest forecast, alerts, and detailed traffic reports from the News 3 Now team on air, online, and download the Channel 3000 First Warn app. Be the first to know what's headed our way. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, Q106 Farm Director Pam Yaki out of the radio barn today, so here are your farm numbers.
time now for the weather. Hattie's here with a foggy forecast. Good afternoon, Mark. You're right. It is still foggy, especially areas south and west of Madison, and that's where the dense fog advisory has been extended until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Take a look at the uh, counties included. It's everyone south and west of Dane County this morning. Again, that goes until 3. A look at current visibility. That's where visibility is our lowest. It has improved here in Madison now to three miles at the airport, but visibility is still well less than a mile in Monroe, Platteville, Mineral Point, and Dubuque, and across much of Iowa and North Northern Illinois. So if you have plans to take you in that direction this afternoon, be extra careful. There still may be some slippery spots on the roads. Temperatures have climbed a few degrees from the morning lows, but we're still below freezing. 23 here in Madison, 25 in Platteville, 27 in Mineral Point. Even the warm spot Prairie du Chien is still below freezing at 28 degrees this afternoon. Now, here's a picture that I took this weekend. This was Saturday morning in western Dane County near Brigham Park. You can see the beautiful frost and ice formations on the plants. Every blade of grass was coated. Uh, you may be wondering, is this hoarfrost or rime ice? Well, it's rime ice, and it all deals with how this ice forms. Rime ice forms in freezing fog, and that's exactly what we had over the weekend, and we continue to deal with this morning and into the first part of this week. Now, it happens when liquid droplets, these are super cool droplets that are present in the fog, freeze on contact with any surface that's below freezing. So if the air temperature is below 32, all those surfaces outside are freezing, and those droplets droplets freeze on contact. Rime ice typically appears chunky and clumpy, whereas hoarfrost kind of has more of a feather-like appearance, uh, especially in light wind scenarios. So those are the differences between rime ice and hoarfrost. Definitely rime iced across southern Wisconsin over the last couple of days. Now our future track visibility says that conditions will improve a little bit, but not much. Heading back into tonight, we're still dealing with some fog across southern Wisconsin. Into tomorrow morning, though, it shouldn't be quite as thick as it was this morning. Still maybe a little foggy, but not quite as bad. Now on Doppler track this lunch hour, I'm watching a narrow band of snow, possibly a little bit of freezing rain mixing in at times. That band will work its way across the area today. It's pretty weak, and if you do see any precipitation, it's going to be very short-lived. Take a closer look at our forecast with our future track forecast model. A lot of clouds for sure. That is definite through the afternoon. There's that little batch of precipitation moving through, again, barely on the map as it heads through south central and southeastern Wisconsin. So we're really looking for no significant accumulations. If you do see any to the north, it's likely going to be less than a quarter of an inch as that band of snow or freezing rain moves through. So minimal accumulations. Temperatures aren't going to move too far over the next couple of of hours either. We'll top just around 30 today. Here's a look at that extended forecast then. We have pretty quiet conditions. Certainly wish I could forecast more sunshine right now, but that's just not in the cards for us. A slight chance for snow Wednesday, Thursday, although we may be able to pull that from the forecast as it looks like that storm will miss us to the south and west as well. All right, nice and quiet. Thank you, Hattie. A healthy option for the new year from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Here's Howard. As we kick off the new year, Many of us are looking for ways to drop a few pounds and to start eating better. It's tough. But if we surround ourselves with a few ingredients that are good for us, also known as superfoods, our chance of success is that much greater. So to help you get off on the right foot, let me show you a few that we've stocked up on. If you don't have quinoa in your pantry, add it to your shopping list. It's a protein-packed grain that's also a good source of iron, vitamin E, and fiber. It sort of looks like couscous, yet it has a nuttier taste. And try getting into the habit of adding beans to your recipes, since they're packed with fiber and are high in antioxidants, protein, and all sorts of vitamins. And if they're canned, make sure to drain and rinse them, as it reduces the sodium by about 40%. As a matter of fact, I threw these superfoods, plus a few others like fresh pomegranate seeds, avocado, and shrimp into a dish that's so good, you'll forget it's good for you. We call it quinoa shrimp bowl. And to get the recipe, just check out our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a superfoods kind of way mm -hmm. for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, Howard, thank you. Ahead on News 3 Now and Noon, Linda Bart from the Brewers Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. 270-9933 is the number to call. Call in now to talk to Linda. We'll be right back. 
News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hey, Tom. Sheila. Hey, uh, don't take losing the Anderson business personally. I resigned at Tom. I guess they didn't tell you about their opossum problem. I thought it was pronounced possum. Menards has everything you need to give your bathroom a fresh, new look. Start with a new toilet from American Standard. This tight and tall, elongated toilet has a powerful flush and aqua guard to reduce condensation. It's just $209. Then finish your update with a new Delta shower. This high crop shower features smooth wall surfaces, is easy to clean, and it's mildew resistant. It's only $539.98. Now, during Menards Project Day Sale. Save big money at Menards. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. At American Family Insurance, we've always protected more than what you drive. We've protected and supported the dreams that drive you. Right now, that means extending our 10% savings on auto premium for all current and new auto customers through March, so you can get a little closer to your dream. Whether your dream is discovering new roads and new limits, or supporting that dream. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. When it comes to 2020, it's time to wipe the slate clean and get a fresh start now at Herzing University. Earn the degree you need for a lasting career. Herzing is accredited, transfer-friendly, and offers you the personal care and support so important during these times. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. A new year, a new career. You've got a clean slate. Impossible at Herzing. Call or click today. Linda Barch from the Bruce Company is here taking your plant and garden questions at 270-9933. Happy New Year, Linda. Happy New Year, Mark. It's going to be a better one, right? Yes, it is. All right, we'll start with Tom in Madison. Hi, Tom, go ahead with your, with your question. Tom, you there? Tom? Tom is not there. Let's go to our next caller. I don't have a name, but you have a question about geraniums. Hello? Hello? You have a question oh. about geraniums? Yes. Go I ahead. brought in one of my uh, really pretty geraniums. I cut it all down, dug it out of the ground, and I put it in a pail, and I put a cover over it and put it down in my basement. And now when I went downstairs, it's already growing and sprouting. Is that <laughs> going to be any good for the summer when I wanted to put it back outside? Well, with, when you said that you covered it, I expected that you'd find that it had all rotted. If it's starting to grow, if you have a sunroom, some people overwinter certain annuals, and geranium is one of them. They get leggy and, and don't perform very well, but then you cut them back and move them outside once we're past danger of frost, and then they'll, they will, they'll do just fine. They'll, they're a little slow to start, but if you oh, love okay. that geranium, hang on to it. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the call. Our next caller has a question about roses in winter. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I'd like to know about knockout roses, if they should be covered uh, with straw or hay. Okay. Knockout roses were developed that, that they have a flower that resembles a hybrid tea, but it, they aren't budded onto a, a root system. So that plant... I generally, in the, in the winter, I make sure that before the snow comes, I have a nice um, layer of wood mulch to protect the roots, but they don't, you don't have to do rose cones or anything like that because they are growing on their own roots. So if they were, die, were to die back to the ground, the new plant that grows will still be a knockout rose. 
Okay. So I didn't cover it, but is that all right? That's all right. We've got snow covered. This is this is the best protection you can have. If okay. the snow melts off and we have a January thaw, make sure it has a nice wood mulch over at the base of it. That would be good. Okay. But not but not hay or straw. No, not hay or straw. No. Okay. No. All right, let's go to Diane in Sun Prairie. Hi, Diane. What's your question? Hi. I have a geranium that I got for Mother's Day in May, and I've had it indoors the whole time. Uh, it's growing, uh, but at the tip ends of some of the leaves, it's turning brown and crisp. Uh, mm -hmm. Gardenia. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a gardenia. Gardenia. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, yeah. gardenias, they, they can um, develop issues with diff different kinds of um, fungal blights. So pick off the black areas that are uh, that look like that. And it, it gardenias make pretty decent houseplants. Give it as much sun as you possibly can and don't overwater it. Okay. I, I have it under lights. Oh, all right. Very and good. I'm using the uh, fertilizer that's supposed to be for blooms. And that seems to stimulate the growth. It will. And what will be nice is if once we have longer days, then the plant will be able to utilize that. Don't over, I mean, fertilize as you've been doing it. But um, I'm just starting to fertilize my hibiscus because I'm starting some, to see some growth on it. Prior to this, it was just sitting there basically just hanging in. It's a plant that I brought in from outside, so that's a little bit different. All right, let's go to Nancy in Stoughton. Hi, Nancy, what's your question? I have a question about my amaryllis. I've got six big leaves, but I don't see the shoot for the blossom to come up. Is that, do you think it's, it's in there, or is, is this a dud? <laughs> Unfortunately, in my experience, if the leaves come first, and especially that much foliage before it flowers, that means it, it's not going to flower for you this season. If it's something that you've held over from last year, the bulb just hadn't rebuilt adequately enough, or if you know, if it's from a store, you've got to be careful. Get, get good size um, amar amaryllis bulbs. This, the ones that are dwarf amaryllis, those bulbs are smaller. But if you are, you're expecting the full size. That's a good size bulb to begin with, yeah. four or five inches. Yeah, it is. All right, we are out of time. Thank you all for calling in, Linda. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. All right, well, first one for the new year, out of the way. Let's go to Hattie, one final check of the forecast. We're still dealing with fog this afternoon. Take a look at visibility this hour. Still less than a one mile in Mineral Point, Platteville, and Monroe, although there has been some improvement here in Madison. Dense fog advisory continues until 3 o'clock for those areas shaded in gray. Those are the counties south and west of Dane County. Doppler track showing you the narrow band of precipitation. I'll keep my eye on it as it moves through the afternoon. Shouldn't cause too many issues, though, here across southern Wisconsin. All right. Thanks for watching. See you back here at 4.